Greetings everyone, you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is Tuesday, I am here to give an update of um, how it's going as I promised in my last video. So um, we went to market this morning with full of uh, expectation that things are going to normalize and um, even if things doesn't normalize like exactly normal normal. But we expected that things was going to get better. We are going to be seeing the new money. But we stayed for hours in the shop and no one stepped into the shop to buy anything, which is very unusual. And um, because of that, I decided to come to the bank to get my, um, my ATM card. And um, on getting to the bank, I was waiting for my turn um news came in that um there is no single cash in the bank like even if you want to take 500 naira from the bank the bank does not have any 500 naira to give you both through atm and inside the bank while on my way to the bank i had with me i had like um new 200 naira notes and um, old and normal 100 naira and 50, 250 naira that's 400 naira total so i had it in mind to once i get my atm activated i'll go outside there and uh, collect some money for myself and for for my home in case if market was as stagnant as it was before i left there so but now no money in the bank now, now my worry became how how am I going to like test if the card is properly activated once they are done with the card. To make the matter worse, I did not eat in the morning. I was rushing to the market to go and gather money because it is a new week. And then um, with the disappointment at the shop, now to the bank, the major disappointment. I called my husband and was like, have you sold anything? He said, they sold, but the person transferred, no cash. <laughs> it was it was funny somehow. It was funny. It was funny. Uh, so now I was now calculating, what am I going to do? I just concluded that once I am done with the bank, I'm just going to rush down to my house and then... Um, it now the problem is am i going to sacrifice this 400 naira in my back just to just to uh, pay for a transport fare and go home i just said okay let me just get down to the to the park immediately i got there i was i was in my mind i was like if i should see somebody that i know i'm not going to pay i'm going to have to transfer for the person or anybody at all so Fortunately for me, once I got to the park, I saw my customer. I just hopped into the tricycle and told him if I can transfer for him. He said yes. While coming to my home, while going to coming to my home, I was trying to do make transfer for the man. It was not going. I came down from the keke to my house now I, I kept on trying I kept trying to I didn't want to owe the man I just wanted to transfer but it was not going the man now saw how I how I was struggling he now told me that I should leave it next time when I get the money cash I should give it to him see yeah since 2020 a lot of things that um, I have not experienced in my entire life has been unfolding gradually, little by little. Things that you look at and you, you, if anybody had told you that this type of thing would happen, you would look at it and say, this, is, this thing is not possible. While in the bank, I looked at how frustrating it was for everybody there. Everyone was complaining, both, um, both big and small. Everybody just complaining about the same thing no money and most of the people that came into the bank just came in to take some the man that sat beside me was like just, he needed 2000 naira for transport fare to get down to his uh, i don't know where he came from maybe to the village or something 
that's why he's in the bank no money at all and he was trying to maybe activate his uh, atm so that uh, he can go to another bank because but people that came in me i didn't check people that came in and was like they said no money anywhere but i don't know how sure it is, uh, that was i don't know how sure so it was frustrating it was a lot unimaginable things happening things has never happened before like since 2020 since 2020 i don't know for another person it has got me thinking a lot of times if all these things that you never imagined could happen like in 2020 i remember one time in our church during the covid 19 once the number of people that are supposed to come inside the church come in they close the door and like the church that always wanted a lot of people to come inside the church and worship god and get to know god now is the one blocking people from coming in and that one that one ended another one came up i think it was answers after that one uh, insecurity and it has been up and down up and down since especially i won't say especially it's all over the world but it's only God that knows where, where all these things are going. I just pray that we will survive it. And however it ends, it will be on our own favor. So thank you. See you in the next video.